um, your costumes. I notice you've all got sort of badges and medals. Is there any significance to the costume on the league? Yeah, I'm the general. <laughs> <laughs> These are soldiers. <laughs> Does that relate to the song? Uh, yes, of the message of the song. Because like uh, we are soldiers of love and soldiers of, um, of the most positive thing. The thing. And then the second question. Hi, hello, good morning. I'm Shimon from Tobit, with the Israel and Miguel. Yeah, it's not only the Eurovision Song Contest, it's about love, it's about her style. Your is quite original. Uh, is it your uh, style for this Eurovision Song Contest that you was created already before? Did you, you wanted to have it like, I mean, by yourself or by specialist experts? Uh, thank you for your question. Um, the short hair clip was made before, just one year before that. But um, special things that you see in two different colors and then a really, really short uh, haircut right now. It's, it was made just for the, <laughs> just before we came here. So um, um, it's a little bit strange because um, uh, I've never known that I have, <laughs> oh, we have so, so, so short hair. But it's really comfortable. I can uh, tell you that uh, just wake up and. <laughs> You're right. So, I don't know, maybe if somebody wants to help me with doing the hair, but it's too easy, come on. <laughs> I can just maybe gel or something. It's okay. <laughs> Another question from Alistair? Hi, Alistair again. Um, I know you, oh, I think you studied clarinet, is that correct? I, yes, I graduated in my national musical school. Okay. Um, have you ever been tempted to sneak the clarinet in the, into the backing of your, of your own music? And do you think maybe the clarinet um, could potentially have a role in rock music like the saxophone in recent years? Yes, why not? I've never, I've never used it um, for now, but I have plans to uh, put it in um, uh, one of my next songs that will be in my first album. So, um, that's a very interesting uh, thing, a very interesting idea. Uh, so, for sure, uh, it's going to be one song with Clarinet. When are you planning to release your first album? Um, maybe a month to very, very soon after the contest. Okay, so the songs are written. Yes. <laughs> Do we have some more questions here? Did I miss anyone? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me ask you a, a, a fun question. Okay, fine. Um, in the literature, actually, it said that um, your singing moved Beyonce <coughs> to tears. Are, are there any other stars that you'd like to make cry? <laughs> yes, all of them. Why not? <laughs> um, to cry is one of the, the, the most beautiful things because you, you see real feelings and if um, I can do it to, to somebody, not just for the stars or just for you, for you, for you, for you, it will be cool because uh, this is my job, to make you feel something. But are you a fan of any other stars? Oh yes. Uh, I'm, I don't know what to start with. Okay, Michael Jackson, of course. We're inspired, we're all inspired by him. I can see the uniforms, right? <laughs> yes, you see the black and white. Da, 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 da. <laughs> um, and maybe my uh, favorite singer is uh, Whitney Houston. It's, uh, it's no way the voice I've heard. And, and um, my favorite singer and male singer is Freddie Mercury from Queen. I love this guy. And, um, many, many, many others, I don't know. And maybe for the style, pink. <laughs> She's very, very crazy. I love her. <laughs> and you were compared to her in some, some articles. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So I'd like to ask you, because you know, you brought your backing vocals with you. Um, you want to sh give us a little you know, test of your, your song, your title? Can you do it here? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. 
Ja. 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 Ja.